In the last video, we introduced adding fractions with different denominators. And what we had to do was change the denominators so that they were the same. And then we could add the numerators once we had changed the fractions. So in this video, we're going to do some examples. So let's take this first one, 2 thirds plus 1 half. OK, they have different denominators. And we're going to have to change both of them so that they have the same denominator. And what you want to look for is what's the least common multiple of the denominators. So the first one, you have a 3. Second one, you have a 2. So the least common multiple of the denominators is going to be 6. They both go into 6. So let's start with the 2 thirds. We need to change that so that it has a 6 on the bottom. So you're going to multiply that one by 2, and you have to do the same thing to the top. So you'll get 4 6. So 2 thirds is the same thing as 4 6. Okay, you have 4 6. And then let's look at the 1 half. Well, we have to multiply the 2 by a 3 to get to a 6. So you do the same thing to the top. And then you're left with 3 6. OK, so now we have a 4 6 and a 3 6. And we could add those together, 4 6 plus 3 6. Okay, remember when we add fractions, you leave the denominator the same. So we can just write a 6 on the bottom. And then you add the numerator. So 4 plus 3 will give you 7. And 7 6 is the same thing as 1 and 1 6. And the way you do that is you take the numerator divided by the de denominator. And then you use the remainder as the remaining fraction. So 7 divided by 6 is 1 and 1 6. Okay, the next example here. We have 4 fifths plus 3 fourths. Okay, what's the least common multiple of the 5 and the 4? Well, they both go into 20. So we're going to change the 4 fifths so it has a 20 on the bottom. So we do that by multiplying the top and the bottom by 4. And 5 times 4 is 20. And 4 times 4 is 16. So you have 16 over 20 for that one. And then the 3 fourths, we change the 4 to a 20 by multiplying it by 5. And you do the same thing to the top. And you're left with a 20 on the bottom and a 15 on the top. So we have our two fractions with like denominators, we have a 16 20th plus a 15 20th. And when we add those together, we leave the denominator the same and we add the numerators. So 16 plus 15 will give us 31. And that can be simplified to 1 and 11 20ths. And the way you do that is you take 31 divided by 20. Well, 20 doesn't go into 3. 20 goes into 31 one time. And you're left with 11 20ths. So that'll be your remainder. 11 20ths. So if, if you didn't remember how to do that, that's OK. Um, you divide it, and then instead of doing decimal for the remainder, in, instead of keeping on dividing, you're just going to take whatever you have the remainder of and put it over whatever you're dividing by. So in this case, it's 11 over 20. So your answer is 1 and 11 twentieths. OK, next example. Now we're, we'll do a couple division. I mean, not division. Um, we'll do a couple differences. Subtraction. So we have 5 6, and we're going to take away 3 fourths. OK, same thing. We're going to have to change the fractions 
so that they have the same denominator in order to subtract. And we look at the 6 and the 4 here. And the least common multiple of a, of a 6 and a 4, well, that's, that's going to be 12. A 4 goes into a 12, and so does a 6. So to change the 5, 6, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. And you get 10 twelfths. And then to change the 3 fourths, you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 3. And you get 9 twelfths. So our problem becomes 10 twelfths minus 9 twelfths. And the same thing like we did with addition, you leave the denominator the same, so it stays a 12, and then you subtract the numerator, so 10 minus 9, and you're left with 1. Okay, one more subtraction problem here. We have 7 eighths minus 1 fourth. So same thing, you need, the, you need like denominators. And in this case, the least common multiple of the denominators is going to be 8. They both go into 8, and 8 goes into 8 one time, and a 4 goes into an 8 two times. So the 7 eighths, we don't have to change at all. 7 eighths is going to stay the same. And to get to an 8 on the bottom for the 4th, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. And that'll give us 2 over 8. So our new problem becomes 7 eighths minus 2 eighths. And the answer, you're going to leave the denominator the same and subtract the numerator. So 7 minus 2 is going to give you 5. So 5 eighths. And that's as sim simple as we can make it. So that'll be our answer. The last problem. Now this is, it's not a word problem, but it's one where, where you need to solve something. If you're given a triangle, and you're given the, the different lengths of the sides, in this case one side is one-third of an inch, another side is two-thirds of an inch, and then the third side is four-sixths of an inch. And the question is, find... Find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. Now the perimeter of a triangle, or any shape for that matter, is just the distance around. So we have to add all three sides together. So our problem is going to be one-third, and I'm not going to write inch for all of them because they're all in inches, so we'll just save the inch for our answer. So one-third plus two-thirds plus four-sixths. Okay, now we notice the first two numbers have like denominators. So we could go ahead and add those. One-third plus two-thirds, well that's three-thirds. And then plus the four-sixths. Okay, in order to add these two fractions though, in order to add the 3 thirds and the 4 6, we need to change the denominator. And we notice the, the least common multiple of 3 and a 6 is just going to be 6. So we can change the 3 thirds by multiplying the top and the bottom by 2. And you get 6 over 6 plus 4 over 6. And that's going to equal 10 6. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, well, if I went back here, 3 over 3, well, that's just 1. So our answer is going to be 1 plus 4, 6, which would be 1 and 4, 6. And you'd be right. You could do it that way. But this is just an example to show you how you, how you would add fractions with unlike denominators. So that's why I did it that way. Now if we look at our answer here, 10, 6, that's not in simplest form. That's actually an improper fraction. 
And we can also see that 10 over 6, well, that could be reduced. So 10 over 6 could be reduced by dividing the top by a 2 and the bottom by a 2. And you'll get 5 thirds. And then you can simplify that further by saying 5 divided by 3. So 5 divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into 5 once. And you're left with 2 thirds. 1 and 2 thirds. And that's going to be inches. So our answer will be 1 and 2 thirds inches. I hope this is starting to make sense. You may need some practice with this. Um, but just remember the process. You need to change the, the denominators so that they're the same, and then you can add or subtract them.